The Louisville Zoo's polar bear has a date tonight. Oh boy, this is exciting. Zookeepers just introduced this potential mate. WDRB photojournalist Brian Manuel learned how their love could help save the species. Polar bears are super iconic animals. The males, anyway, are the largest land predators on the planet. As cute and cuddly as they might look, he's going to get bigger than he is now. When he stands up, he is really impressive. We're so excited to have Borealis, or as he's known to most of us as Bo. Bo's a uh, wonderful young male adult polar bear who just recently arrived to the Louisville Zoo. Finally, after many years of hard work, uh, Kunnick, our rescued polar bear, is going to have a mate. Right on cue. And she's the most genetically valuable female in all of the United States. As per recommendation by the Polar Bear Steering Committee, all polar bears are managed cooperatively among all the zoos to make sure we're doing everything we can to help promote the, their population. The prospect of having polar bear cubs, which is, you never know if that'll work or not, but that just the prospect of it is super exciting. There are vulnerable species in the wild, only about 25,000 of them in the wild. And so it's really important that zoos work together to kind of help polar bears. I'm really glad that, that both of them are on the other side of the glass because I don't think we want to be in there with them. They smell for miles and miles and miles away. So the second Bo showed up at the place, he knew Kunnick was here and Kunnick knew he was here even without seeing each other. Today was the first day Bo and um, Kunnick got the opportunity to see each other, to see if we can't uh, make a love connection between her and Bo. We're really glad to have such a gorgeous, well-behaved and uh, good-tempered animal here. I'll have to follow along on that love story. <laughs> Photojournalist Brian Manuel with that reporting. Um, the Louisville Zoo says Glacier Run is up for the number one exhibit in the country through a USA Today poll. The zoo itself could also win best in the country. You can vote on USA Today's website. Well.